first and the most important thing guys in today's video uh, you need to know he's watching you so uh, in today's guys I'm gonna go to the tools uh, I'm gonna be using the measure but uh, I'm actually gonna jump in here on the left hand side uh, I got my measurements here's the first thing measurements uh, and you can see here uh, I got length poly length and all the stuff uh, you could see here on my last video as well maybe I just quickly show you here uh, measure we got all here uh, we got we got shortcuts as well if you want to remember them on uh, if you want to add them actually in your toolbox uh, what I showed on the last video and we're gonna be adding the most important thing like area and length obviously we're gonna use it quickly jump one two three bang what I'm gonna do first of all guys uh, I'm gonna check the page scale here and I'm gonna set the scale so I'm gonna go back to whatever drawing I got uh, I'm gonna stick to this one maybe uh, it's a nice drawing here and I got a scale here one in 100 so uh, at a1 but that's obviously how the drawing is open now I'm gonna double check it anyway so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go uh, scale here, I'm gonna set it here, uh, press here, so one in 100, uh, I'm just scrolling down, that's the scale one in 100, and I'm just gonna uh, go back to that drawing here, scale is preset, I'm gonna wanna try to measure something, and obviously guys, what I always do, I, I actually try to measure and check myself if this is actually working, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna measure the length from here to here, uh, what I got here, so four, 360, yeah, so that's actually working. You can see you got 4355, you got 4360. So that's five, five millimeters difference. And uh, I think we can actually change the precision here as well. So once we check, change it, you see it's perfect. It's only one millimeter, so that's great. So uh, yeah, maybe that's what we can do here. I'll quickly show you uh, once we... In the settings now for the length uh, dimensions, we can actually uh, go to settings as well. And that's what, we, that's what I did actually. You can change the font size. You can go uh, color color black as well here uh, what we can change here as well opacity highlight that's all right uh, I see the line is dashed so we can change the line here I want to I want a solid proper line uh, and I want a line black as well I can leave the arrows like that no problem with that uh, so guys uh, that's how it looks here uh, I got my dimensions here I, know I leave them like that with the red arrow here uh, it doesn't really matter and uh, even here, if I scroll down here, I can add to tool chest uh, here. So I'm add to tool chest my tools again, and uh, I think they're going to be number five. Yeah, so that's automatically number five here. Uh, I'm going to double click it, so it's not going to be the same dimension all the time. We're just going to be pressing number five. We're going to be going four dimensions. So once I'm going to press number five here, I'm going to get my dimension. Whatever I'm going to measure, going to be measuring with my settings. So that's great, guys. I think I don't have to tell too much about it. You can see yourself. This is just great, absolutely great. And then uh, just, yeah, maybe we just double click in here. So number five, I got it here. You can check whatever number you're going to be using, whatever you're going to be using the most, you can set it later. You can actually change it now. If I'm going to be using this, I can move it here. And that's going to be my number one now. So number one, 7850. I just want to double check it quickly. 7849. Great, guys. Great. So that was the measurement. That was the length of the line. Um, so that's uh, that's the first thing I want to show you today. But obviously I want to go for area as this is uh, this is going to be the two most uh, used thing, guys. Here, so we got a drawing scaled now. Uh, the drawing is in the scale, and at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to scale the drawing. If it's not in, to the scale, once we know some dimension, we can actually uh, calibrate it to our scale. So that's that's fantastic. I'm going to go now to the measures, and we're going to do uh, something with the uh, area. So uh, measure here. I got the area here so once i'm going to press area you see the all settings here again and uh, i can check the area let's say we want to pour that slab here and we want to check how much meters of concrete we need uh, to order let's go for the same pour uh, as we did the last time so as you can see here i'm just uh, have to draw it this way so i'm going to go from the corner to the corner i got a grid line here uh, and i'm jumping to this it was grid line d14 i believe uh, and i'm going to press c now so uh, once I got it here, uh, you can see here, uh, I got my area here, but if you can see here, this is in square feet here, uh, so I don't want it really. So that, what we're doing now, again, we're gonna go back to the settings and uh, I wanna color, I wanna go for actually black. I like a black color here. And I'm gonna go uh, text color black as well. Bank. Well, and I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I wanna, I wanna make sure everyone gonna see what it is here. I think uh, that's enough here. But what I wanna change, guys, obviously, I wanna in meters here, so square meters. And then uh, once we know the the thickness of the slab, obviously, we're gonna check how many cubic meters we need. And I think you can check the volume here as well. But uh, I'm gonna do the 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 area now. And obviously, 
whatever slab gonna be later, we're gonna be multiplying by the thickness of the slab. So I'm gonna go back to measure uh, actually here to change it. Uh, I got the area measurements properties here. So I'm gonna jump here, area. So we got it here, you can see here is square feet, the cubic feet, whatever. So I'm gonna change this obviously for square meters. That's what I'm looking for. And you can see that we got 251 square meters and that's how they're gonna be checking here. We got the square meters. So same story here. What I'm gonna do, I just right click quickly here. And so you can set it as a default here, but I'm gonna add it to the uh, tool chest, my tools, and I'm gonna double click it here. Uh, so I'm gonna get my uh, area checked, whatever I like. Uh, I'm gonna actually move it for number two. Obviously guys, uh, once you're gonna start using all this tool, tool chest, uh, your tools, you wanna make sure you're gonna be, whatever you're gonna be using the most, you wanna set this for yourself really, because once you're gonna get used, to, you're gonna be using number one for something, you're gonna get used to it later and it's not, it's not really good to change it later. So you need to set it actually just for yourself. Uh, as I said, once you're gonna get used to, you're gonna be probably go always number one for this, number two for this. So uh, it's not really uh, good to change it. I just, I'm just showing you can do it actually. You can change the position of it, you can change the number. Uh, depending on what you're going to be using. So guys, we got a square meters now. Uh, you can see how easy it is. So if you, if you want to obviously check how many meters we need of concrete to pour on this slab, we want to check the thickness of the slab, which uh, one of the most important information here, and that should be actually quite visible. So you guys, we had the 200 uh, RC slab here. So obviously once we got 251 meters uh, multiplying by 0.2 meters, as we are in meters here, so 0.2 meters, so that's going to be what, uh, around 50 meters of concrete. Obviously you're going to get some extra, but we're not talking about the ordinary concrete today. What we can do as well, guys, uh, I maybe forgot, uh, we can actually fill it as well. So we can uh, fill the color, same story, we can go for the yellow and we can do the highlight as well. So you can see here, it's nice uh, and clearly visible now. But this square here, yellow, it's 251 meters. And if I'm going to go back to my tools now, Number two, let's say uh, another pour we're gonna do uh, like that. So I'm gonna go from here to here. That's gonna be my small pour, let's say. Uh, that's gonna be pour number two, only 30 meters. I wanna put a different color here so everyone is gonna see this is a different uh, pour here, 30 meters square only. So that's how you do it, guys. And we got all the square meterage here. This is great. Uh, so we can measure the area, guys, wherever we want. Uh, Obviously, if you know the thickness of the element, we, we got we got, the, we got the cubic meters as well. And we can measure as well the length uh, of the lines or the length of the pore. Uh, maybe just quickly go, uh, I had a number one. So uh, how big that gonna be for the GP to do the stop end? So we're gonna have it 16 and a half meter. So that's great, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna go back quickly here, paving. Uh, let's have a look. If you're gonna ask me how much paving we need uh, just, just to fill this. So guys, quickly to show you, I got my, uh, once once I got my settings here, uh, obviously I can use it in each drawing here. Let's let, let's have a look at the paving. Uh, we we want to know how much paving we need for this area and whatever. So obviously guys, we, we need to calibrate the drawing first. Each time we're going to be using drawing, we need to make sure we got the same scale. So uh, I'm going to go just double check quickly how the scale is looking here. Uh, I'm going to go for length and I'm going to double check what I got uh, from here to here. Uh, 2.4 meters. So you can see here, it's actually asking me to set the scale. So calibrate the drawing or input. I can see 2.4 meters. So that actually makes sense for the for the parking bay. But we should actually calibrate or just input the scale. This is in this case 2.4 meters. So I know this is actually A1 and uh, 100 as well. But obviously we want to make sure what scale is on the drawing. So you're going to preset it and we're going to put one in 100 as well. So each time you're going to be using different drawing, you need to calibrate it or you need to scale it. So I'm going to put apply scale. And uh, we got a 2.4 meter, that's great guys. So uh, we know the length here and uh, same story. I'm gonna put number two for my area here. So whoever gonna ask you how much paving you need there guys, click, click, click. Uh, I'm gonna go here corner. I'm gonna press C to close that. 50 square meters please of that type of paving. So uh, you look how easy it is. How I'm gonna make your life easy. You're gonna be great now. And only one more thing I'm going to show you, uh, if you're talking about the scale guys, once all set here, we got our tools here, uh, nice and easy to use, we know everything guys, uh, I got num number three if I just want to mark it, and I got num number two if I want to just maybe uh, check some area as well, and then I can highlight it from here, or I can set it as, as a default for myself to highlight as well the area. So uh, this is great guys. Uh, so last thing I want to show you here, uh, we're going to calibrate some drawing, which is uh, not to scale. And I think that's that's one of the greatest thing here about the Bluebeam. 
if you're gonna get some information, it might actually be sometimes uh, sometimes some scan or something, and you can still work with it. Obviously, you need to be very careful uh, when using stuff like this, but uh, to get the rough idea of what you need on site and all that stuff, that that's great, and Bluebeam is the best for it. So what I do, guys, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I actually delete this. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna control P, I'm gonna print the drawing, so I'm gonna print a bit of this drawing here, and this is not gonna be uh, to scale really. I'm gonna take uh, let's say A3 and you can see how to print from from the Bluebeam as well as I didn't show it at the beginning I think. So uh, I'm gonna go from landscape here, uh, current, I wanna get the window here. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a window like this and uh, you can see the preview here uh, and yes I wanna print uh, Microsoft to PDF, yeah that's fine. So I'm gonna print it here, uh, you're gonna ask me where I want it, uh, I'm gonna save it here and uh, that should uh, open straight away here uh, in Bluebeam and we're gonna have a look. So I got uh, my paving drawing here guys, obviously it's not up to scale, you can get a bit of, bit of information like this sometimes. I not recommend to use it, you, you, you always try to get proper information all the time, wherever it is, but let's say we got that uh, information like here, we know this is 2.4 meter, or we obviously know the parking bay is like that. So what we're gonna do now, we don't have a scale and we don't know uh, nothing really about it, but we wanna know uh, how much area of paving we need for instance. Uh, so we can actually check this bit here, uh, if you're gonna go with the same lines, we're gonna have a look if that's gonna be exactly the same once we're gonna calibrate it. So what I'm gonna do now guys, uh, I'm gonna go back to measure and uh, you see the scale here, so I need to calibrate the scale this time. So select two points of no dimension uh, to calibrate the measurement, so, so that's what I'm gonna do exactly now. And uh, I got these two points here. Obviously, you need to know some length uh, on the drawing. You need to know as that drawing has to refer to something. This is, guys, uh, obvious. You cannot just open without any knowledge. The Bluebeam has to refer itself to something. So it's always, it's like setting EDM. It's like doing whatever work. You need to refer to something to be able to do all the work. So I'm going to press these two points. and going to ask me uh, what's in here. So, so this 0.9... Four, eight inch whatever it doesn't really matter we're gonna be changing here so I wanted this guys in millimeters precision we can set the precision here so let's go uh, crazy we're gonna go oh one current range so uh, this inch this is actually two four hundred millimeters and I'm gonna apply scale now so I'm gonna press it here so scale is applied now and uh, let's have a look uh, if it's actually working so I'm gonna go back now my tools number one for the length and we're gonna have a look what we got in here uh, 2391 millimeters yeah so that looks uh, that looks all right actually guys but that, that that's another example here you can see once it's calibrated it's not going to be perfect uh, but it's going to be well enough anyway so uh, i'm actually going to press these two points maybe i just uh, didn't press something uh, correctly there so from here to here yeah you can see here it's 239999 so that's actually 2.4 meters and once the drawing is calibrated obviously that should be working with the area as well so i'm going to press my number two and i'm going to try to go for the same uh, markup I did before. I just I just took it randomly, so it's not going to be <laughs> easy to find it now with all these uh, lines. Uh, I think that's the I think that's the one here, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to close it. And yeah, I think I got exactly the same uh, thing here. I just move it so it's 61 3 61 44. Yeah, a little bit discrepancy here, but I think. Uh, Maybe I didn't press exactly the same points. Or guys, maybe that's the calibration here. You have to always remember that once it's calibrated, it's not going to be just perfect. It's going to be small discrepancies, but this is great, guys. If you want to know uh, roughly what you need, that, that's well enough for us. So I think, guys, uh, that will be all in today's video. You know how to measure. I think it's the greatest option here uh, when we're talking about the two-dimensional drawings with the PDF drawings and doing all the stuff for your markups, for your takeoffs, uh, for the measurements. Guys, this is great. So I think you're happy with it, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're going to overlay some drawings and uh, I'm probably going to show you how I'm working with it. Uh, we're going to take a few examples. Uh, we're going to raise some RFIs. We're going to do some markups. We're going to check area. You're going to see how you're going to be working, when you're going to be up and running here with all, all your tool sets how easy it is, how great it is, and how good you're gonna be once you're gonna know all this stuff. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if so, please don't forget to leave the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel as well, and this is helping to reach out to more people and to get them a chance to see how the life and work of a civil engineer looks, guys. So thank you again for watching, and uh, see you next time.